Hello everyone and welcome to this Groovy Geometry tutorial series. In this particular tutorial, we will learn about the for loop with example and the real time scenario. So let's begin. So what are the loops? Loops are basically a fundamental concept in programming which allows us to execute a block of code multiple times. Now let me give you a real life example. If I ask you that you should go to the cricket ground and take a round. Take a complete one round now this is a one round but if i say just go and take 10 rounds of that particular stadium so you are doing the same thing again and again so that's how the loops actually works in the programming so you are doing a repetitive work right so if you want to run a block of code multiple times then we will be using the loops so in jmeter loops are particularly useful when we need to process multiple data elements dynamically such as if we need to iterate over a list of values in the api response the for loop in groovy helps in executing a piece of code for a defined number of times this is especially helpful in api testing scenarios where we need to iterate over a json response and extract values dynamically for validation or further api calls now first i will give you an overview of the syntax of the for loop and then we will C or we can iterate over the JSON response in the JMeter. Okay. Now let's go to the notepad over here and let me show you the the syntax for a for loop. So start with the for, then uh, we have a variable which will use for the collection. Okay, variable for the collection, and then after that we have this uh, block of code over here which we need to execute. So here. We will be having that particular code right so if i go so here basically a code to execute this is the one syntax and other syntax is that which is very common so basically so for then you must have seen like int i is equals to zero and then i is less than the for example then then i plus plus and then based on this one you will be executing your block of code and again inside the, your for loop we have the code over here so first one is really, really simple let's let me explain to you the second one over here so basically we are taking a variable and the initial value of the variable is zero now here we have a condition so condition is i is less than 10 so basically based on this condition how many iteration we need to do just like i give you example that you need to take a 10 rounds of a kk stadium right in the similar way i am defining over here that this ne loop needs to be execute when i is less than 10 and for every iteration we are doing a increment so that we can go to the other iteration of the loop okay now let's uh go to the jmeter again and simply what i will do is that go to the test plan go to add go to thread group then go to add go to sampler then jsr223 sampler over here and here we really start writing a loop uh but before that uh, what we need to do is that we need to open the api which we need to use so we use this uh, application for the last demo so we will be using same for this tutorial so let me scroll down and here you see that we have this slash users so basically uh, this api is written in all the users right there's so much data right so let me copy this data and let me go here now right click on this thread group go to add go to sampler go to http request here paste this one and after the slash just copy this part from here and paste it here in the path remove this from here and this https needs to be here in the protocol and remove the http from over here now we need to move this up because we need to send a request first and then we will actually traverse from the users in the response okay so here it will be users 
and now simply what i do is that first add a listener and see if it's working fine or not so the users is working fine and we are getting a response now click on this jsr to do sampler and start writing our script so what we need to do is that first we will create a variable and in that particular variable we will be storing the complete api response okay so let me create a variable over here and i will name it as response and i will get response from the previous sample request so preview dot get then response data as a string so it will give me the response from the previous request the api response right and so what i'll do is that let's do print ln and print response and execute this one and see what happens so here you see that the whole response has been printed over here right now what i lose that is working the second is is that i need users so for that i need to this parse this json okay so in order to parse the json what i need to do is that i need to use the json slurper class which will provide a method which will actually help us to parse the text and the the benefit of using the method is that it will automatically parse it we don't need to write a code for this one okay so in order to use that what we need to do is that we need to import that first so import and import groovy dot json dot json json and it's s l u r seller per okay s l u r p e r okay now once we have imported this one what we need to do is that we will be creating one more variable called users and say new then say groovy groovy dot json and we're using this one so let me copy from here and and from this class we'll be using a method called parse text and which needs to be parsed the data is coming in this particular variable called response okay and once we have done this one what we need to do is that now we will loop through the users we have a multiple users coming in the response if i go back to the response so you see that we have user id four fives okay and i need a name from every data so this means that i need two drivers or i need to loop through every data okay so here for i will say a variable which is required and this is a collection where have we have a data and here simply i need to whatever i need to do so for example i need to log this info i'm i might need to extract a value and then i can use that value in my upcoming api calls i might need to you know generate some data based on the response so all these kind of scenarios can be handled using this approach okay so info and info will be basically user dot name and whenever this loop execute so we get the value in the user and then and from the user what we are saying that we get a name okay and i will remove this one so now we are logging this one so what i will do is that simply clean this up and run this one and our script got executed and now this time you see that so our sample is also in a green state so if i go here and go to log viewer and scroll up so you see that we are actually getting the names right from the response so these are the names right all these names in similar way you can traverse the other data get any specific data and perform any operation as per your scenario or the requirement
Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial.